नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं हिना फिरदौस और आप देख रहे हैं हमारा चैनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एलिमेंट आज हमारे साथ एक बहुत बढ़िया गेस्ट है मेरी बहुत अच्छी दोस्त भी हैं आंचल सतपुड़ी जिन्होंने गेट 2020 में 560 रैंक हासिल किया सिर्फ अपनी मेहनत के बल से बलबूते तो आज हम उनके साथ एक जूम मीटिंग पर हैं और देखते हैं कि उनकी जर्नी किस तरीके से उन्हें इम्पैक्ट की सो आंचल अपने बारे में कुछ बताइए Hi, my name is Anshul Sathpuri. I gave GATE 2020 in computer science. I secured an All India rank of 560. Uh, I got offer from ISC and other IITs as well, but I opted for ISC. That's fine. Very wonderful. Ah, uh, Anshul, there are nearly thousands of people who appear for GATE every year, and most of them take great coaching also. Uh, even I remember we are both. Uh, we haven't uh, we have taken the gate coaching from the immediately so despite of coaching many people fail to crack the gate exam uh, what did you do right to get it through it we want to take some in light on it well i think whatever work we do it's it needs consistency when i joined meezy in the month of july and it provided me with a consistency and a good knowledge of education because the teachers i think are the best in the medical coaching well the gate completion part gate syllabus completion part was on the coaching i was only left with the revision which i have to do timely uh, while my main strategy was to till september my main goal was to revise the subjects which were already completed in the class and do previous year on them and then attempt some test series accordingly then my coaching was completed in the starting of december then i gave a full revision to all my subjects and then i started giving the full length test after the full revision of the subjects well full length test helped me analyze my mistakes where i'm doing wrong and what what i have to do do things to make the make uh, the to correct the mistakes i shouldn't do in the exam well i think the strategy is the most important part and i think everyone should follow a strategy to do good in that 3 hours because it is it's just a duration of 3 hours and i think it your six month preparation one year preparation it's all depends on that 3 hours and you have to do good so it, you should have a proper strategy to crack the gate that's so true so in a nutshell she want to say that it is important for us to do the revision and keep all the key concepts whatever we are learning and keep a periodic uh, test series so that we can analyze where we are going or doing wrong and make your own strategies based on your, on your own strength and weakness am i right hasan so um so which was your favorite subject in computer science or from the gate syllabus and why did you choose that Uh, my favorite subjects are uh, algorithm and discrete mathematics well one of the main obvious reason is that because of the teachers who taught them in made easy uh, they taught them in one of the easiest ways ready sir and sundaram sir well made easy students will agree with me and another reason for liking me of discrete mathematics is like we see mathematics in our daily life like if you study discrete mathematics you get a wider view or wider view or you can say that it opens a new dimension of seeing how the things are related to maths like uh, the, like in discrete mathematics there is counting permutations well it if you say it will give you a whole new perspective of seeing the things that's very true actually um so my next question will be do you think gate is relevant after the post pandemic will the craze of the gate will go Well, gate has i think gate has always been relevant like if you want to work in public set public sector psc they take direct recruitment through gate uh, if i talk about the coronavirus coronavirus has led to the companies temporary really down city i mean the server jobs were also lost in companies that were struggling to spur up their revenues if i like if i open my linkedin account i see many posts related to the same every day like another reason i can give that a gate is important like many people say 
that with gate you can get a good placement even in a good company and with a good package with a like with a good gate score you can uh, you can enter into iic iid and many other good institutes uh, well it's not in the assurance that at our institutes you will definitely get a good placement because then it all boils down to your hard work well i'll say that gate is one of the way in which you can get a better job well because in the last it just all your hard work and dedication in whichever field you choose like i have opted for gate so i can explain the benefits of that and that's the reason like you can go for another field and you can just get good job there too that's a wonderful answer and uh, even i think that gate is going to be very much relevant regarding to the job sector and for your own personal development uh with that i want to proceed with a very important question so so asil what do you think about higher education according to you and do you need uh, do you think we need more universities or funds for this higher education thing uh yes i do think that higher education is important because higher education is to provide quality based education to empower youth for self sustainability like it imparts knowledge and it develops the one ability and give them a wider perspective to see around the world like it is the input to the growth growth of ourselves and also for the development of the industry yes i do think that the universities uh, sh- sh- more universities should be there and also funding should be increased for them for the research work like uh, i've seen many students preferring to go to uh, uh, preferring to go outside india for ms or for doing their phd like why are not they doing from india because it somewhere lacks in the quality based research uh, due to the limited focus on the research and i can say that lack of the internationalization very few indian education institutes are globally recognized that's why people generally go to prefer outside india for doing their ms or phds and i think it should funding should be increased funding should be increased very well answered and uh, even i think that whatever you are saying i am truly resonating with that uh, have you read any paper uh, higher education like recently national education policy 2020 has been released by the government of india and mhrd so they are talking about multiple exit slip uh, what is your take on it uh, yes i read about the nep new education policy thanks to you your channel basically provided a good <laughs> source for me <laughs> to know more about it and i think it's good that they are taking uh, they're talking about the multiple exist and interest slips i like the idea like now the student can take this sabbatical like if someone wants someone have to leave their studies in between he can join later on like up to whatever part you have completed your studies you will get acknowledged by the student, by the institute like you complete your first year second year third year or final year you will get acknowledged and maybe if this type of if this nep is uh, implemented then accordingly new policies will be there like for like jobs will be based on them like uh, for the if you are passed on the first year then jobs for them second year passed mm-hmm. jobs for them so it will be beneficial that's true even uh, like we have seen how much people uh, even the students who suffer a lot uh, due to this lack of funding from their house or from the government sources to complete their studies and they have to work also so yeah I even i will say like entry exit slip will give some benefits to those students in a big sense in a better sense uh to the last session and the last question of this interview i just want to ask if you have a power to change the education system how would you think it would be well this one is a this one is a difficult one for me <laughs> like uh, but if i say like uh, if this new education policy will be implemented then it will take the education to a new level like like now you don't have to focus more focus will be there on the critical analysis conceptual learning and all that holistic development will be there so if i if i have the power then of course i will first i will implement this national education policy first i will and if i talk about what i can include so 
first of all moral education i would include in the uh, schools then of course yoga classes because like in this pandemic uh, yoga has proved to be effective to boost the immunity so i will make sure that everyone do yoga <laughs> So, in a sense, you want to develop a more holistic, value full uh, value with full of value mindset education instead of just uh, giving a rote learning kind of thing, which is already running in our education system. So, you want a holistic development of the human. So that's a wonderful yeah. idea. <laughs> All right. Um, that was a wonderful interview with Anchal, and that's how she has talked about her hard work and perseverance. Revision is the key for your success. Just don't think that, okay, ye liya, ab ho gaya. Nahi, you have to keep changing your strategies, make uh, yourself accountable for your own actions. And we need a more holistic development uh, uh, and more personal, uh, like, you no know, personalized education system. Uh, so we can have a better uh, industries. We can have better research and better higher education and a better civilized society. So thank you, Achil, for coming to this interview in a very short notice. Thank you, Hiradi, uh, for the future gate experience. All the very best, and do press, do press, and do subscribe to the channel Institute of Elements and press the bell icon. Yeah, and I'm going to post more engaging and interesting content for you all. So bye bye.